We are here to educate, motivate, and inspire everyone. Today couldn't be a better day. I know, look, you can imagine Dave and I traded this market all day. We still have enough, enough energy to motivate and inspire you all to learn to become successful traders. That's our goal. All over the world, we've got people. It's amazing here. How many we got here? We got 320 people from everywhere. Whatever way you found us, welcome. We are so thrilled you're here. David Green and I are here to inspire, motivate you, to teach you, to give you a toolbox. Fill it with tools. We're not here to pick stocks. We're not here to be your financial advisor. Everybody break out the book and start taking notes because we are going to give you a toolbox and fill it with tools so that you can become successful traders. You know the whole thing, if you're hungry, I buy you a fish. But if you really want, I can teach you how to fish so you can be sustainable and feed yourself forever. That's what we're doing in the trade world. We're going to teach you the tools. We're going to teach you the rules. We're going to teach you the psychology of being a successful trader. Nine out of 10 day traders make, who are not successful all make the same mistakes. We are going to teach you the keys to the castle, man, so that you can become a successful trader. It's not going to happen in an hour and a half, ladies and gentlemen. But we're going to do our best in the next hour and a half to give you the little gems, the little jewels, the little diamonds that will begin to put you on the journey to become a successful, successful, who, a successful trader. And if you want to stay with us, there's options out there, choices. David has a trading room. We have a trading course. We do these webinars often. If you need coaching and coaching and mentoring, and you want to stay with us forever, there is a way. It'll probably cost you a couple bucks, but that's fine. Tonight, we're going to be here. It's live. It's free. And we're going to try and drop some gems on you. I'm your motivator in chief. David Green is my mentor, my teacher, one of the great technicians in the space of technical analysis. So David, take it away. Hey, Chad. Um, Chad, Chad, Matt, read me Chad's comment that he just posted right there. Guys, I'm, uh, it's been a long traded, day. They traded back in 2017 and 18, blew up my account twice. Technique I learned was too fast, basically scalping. All right, there you go. Well, Chad, you're not alone in blowing up your trading account. I can tell you that right now. All right. Most people do that at least once. I'm hoping the things that we talk about tonight will at least prevent you from ever blowing up a trading account. Anthony's in the room with us now. He's blown his trading account up a couple of times. <laughs> uh, I think Anthony's been with us for, I don't know, maybe a month now. Anthony's in our private trading room. So here's what I want to try to cover tonight for everybody, guys. OK. Um, one thing I want to talk about, I've blown up multiple accounts. There you go. I blew mine up last week. There you go. Yeah, Dre. Here's what I want to go over tonight, okay? I want to start the program. First, I want to start the program by talking to all the young college kids out there, okay? Yeah, blowing up, meaning they had 5000 in the trading account, and they wiped it all out, all right? For all those kids who are joining us from college, a couple of things that you should be aware of now. What me and Peter are going to teach you guys, you know, whatever we talk about tonight and in our course is something that you can take with you for the rest of your lives. So one of the things I'm proudest of is that some people have taken our course and hung out with us for a little bit who are in college and it act, there you go, Navi. And um, it is just a skill you can take with you for your rest of your life. But even beyond that, it's something that you can take into an interview with you and be able to have an intelligent conversation about reading a chart and about moving averages and about trade management and money management and the psychology of trading and just have a good sense as to what the whole business is about. And me and Peter get emails all the time. Sometimes I won't hear from somebody for three years. And Mr. Green, I, I, I was with you. I took the course back in whatever it was. And I went to Goldman Sachs and there were 50, 50 people trying to get the same entry level job. And I got it because I was able to have an intelligent conversation. So this is something you can take with you for your rest of your life. It's a skill that you can learn and do when you're 19 and when you're 90. So that's an important thing. Also, another thing I want to mention for the young people out there, and this is important, and Peter will talk a little about that, this too. You should be investing for the long term in the market, right? And anyone really who's under the age of 50 that has, you know, 10, 15, 20 years to invest in the market. What we're seeing now, guys, is not something you should be scared of. It's an opportunity in the long run and we'll never tell you exactly what stocks to buy. Apple we will never tell you what stocks to buy over the long run. Google will never tell you what stocks that are good that you should have that are going to be here forever and that are going to not going anywhere. Right. 
So instead of buying, you know, the latest Apple XG58, buy one share of Apple. Now, Peter, Peter talks about this all the time. And just put it away. Forget about it. If you can afford, if, if there you go, Shawnee, bought two shares of Google today, great. And if it keeps going down from here, another 10%, buy two more. And that's how you, that's how you cost average into longer term investments. What we're going to talk about tonight, and that is for all the young people in there. What we're going to talk about tonight, uh, adding to your daughter's brokerage account, perfect, perfect, perfect. We're going to start out tonight. First of all, for anyone who doesn't know who, who we are, I think everybody kind of does. Pete, why don't you, are you here, Pete? Or did I lose you for a minute? All right, we lost Pete for a minute. Um, so my name is David Green. I have been trading in the markets for 36 years now. Yeah. I don't know. We might've lost Pete for a minute. That's okay. I've been trading in the market for 36 years now. I worked on the floor of the New York stock exchange from 1985 till 1999. I retired when I was 38 years old at the end of 1999. Peter says, unmute me. Okay. Hold on. I'm here. I got you, Debbie. Right. I'm good. Okay. So uh, I retired from the stock exchange at the end of 1999 and I proceeded to start to day trade. I would like to know what they, we'll get there. So guys and girls, everyone who's asking questions, let's keep it to the subject that we're talking about, okay? For now, because there's 500, 400 people in here already. I promise everybody that I'll stay a little bit afterwards and we can talk about individual stocks or whatever else you want. I'll hang out with you guys, but let us get through the program. I want to give you guys as much useful information as I can. So does Peter, so that you can take what you learned tonight and immediately put this into practice. So the only thing I've ever done my whole life was trade. And when I left the Florida and New York Stock Exchange, I started day trading. And I proceeded to lose a very large amount of money in about three months time. And you guys, po post a one here if this sounds familiar to anybody. I would buy a stock. I had no risk management. It would go down. I would buy more. It would go down. I would buy more. Finally, it got to the point where I couldn't take it anymore. I sold the stock and took an absolutely huge loss, right? All I'm seeing is number one. So there's 400 people in here. I'm going to see about 348 ones. <laughs> so, and this is something I did my whole life. And, and one of the things that got in my way was ego because I thought I knew everything there was to know about trading. But when you're trading shorter term, it's so easy to get run over in this market. And the easiest thing to do in this market is lose money. It's a little harder to make it, but the easiest thing to do is lose money. So I started foxing around with technical analysis, and it took me the better part of being really, really patient and disciplined of three years to get that money back. And look, I could have afforded to lose more, but I knew I wanted to do this for the rest of my life. So it took me better part of three years to come up with uh, the technical analysis that I've now been using for the last 10 years. We have taught thousands upon thousands of people how to trade. I'm not saying we have the holy grail. We do not. But what we do works for our trading techniques. In a few minutes, I will show you some charts. I will share with you guys what we do today. Um, one of the things we always tell everybody, especially going into this, a day like today, and this is for everybody's charting is just confusing at time, then frustration kicks in. Look, Antonio, me and, and, and this is another thing. I will never tell anybody what to do with their money, okay? I am going to show you tonight in the time that we have together what works for us. I have a very private trading room. Right now, there's about 60 people in there. I trade the markets live with them every single day, posting our trades in real time. Me and Peter do not BS anybody. There are a million people out there that you can go and follow. And most of them are just looking to take your money from you. Okay. Most of them are not going to tutor you in the way that we're going to you. Most of them are not going to mentor you after you have been with them and taken a course with them. Once you are part of our family, we are here to help you. We'll get there, Gabriel. I don't even want to talk about it yet. Okay. Um, I'm here if you need me. Pete, for the people who don't know who you are, Christine, sure. I'm paying for a membership right now. Excellent. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself, yeah. Pete? I think sure. everybody here knows you, but... Go, go ahead for a couple minutes. <laughs> anyway, hi, guys. I'm Peter Tuckman. I am known as the Einstein of Wall Street. I look like Einstein. I'm not that smart. Most of the stuff I've learned, I've learned from my buddy, David Green. I am a trader on the floor of the exchange still to this day. I've been there for 137 years. I went to high school with Alexander Hamilton. I was at George Washington's inauguration. I look well for my uh, 
has to start your video, um, has asked you to start a video later. Okay, anyway, I've been around a long time. I've seen it all. I've been a trader for hedge funds. I've been, uh, my, my career has, has had ups and downs. I've been around from the crash of 87 through the 2000 bubble to the financial crisis of 07, to, uh, which took nine years to get back even to, to the COVID crisis. Uh, so I've been around for everything. I've seen it all. And we couldn't have picked a better day to have a webinar with all you wonderful people than today. Because what we talk about, look, COVID came along. I was trading for a hedge fund. David and I sort of saw the swell in the earth of the 40 million plus people suddenly out of nowhere who had never had access to the floor, never access to the markets, never access to trading, suddenly had the opportunity through Webull and through Robinhood and whoever it may be um, to trade the market. Everybody now, after decades of barriers to entry, you've got an iPhone and a hundred bucks, you can trade the market. We saw that opportunity. We saw the danger of it because we knew that people in this market, as volatile as it's been over the last number of years, if you don't know the rules, if you don't know how to trade, you are going to blow up your trading account. We know it, we've seen it, okay? So anyway, all that being said, we took this opportunity to curate a course, right? We do have a course, we'll talk about it later. We took the opportunity to curate a course to embrace the new young retail trading community so that you guys can become successful traders. Look, a lot of, a lot of people in David and my world are spending, are paying attention to all the new young retail traders. We've taken it upon ourselves. It is our mission to motivate and inspire all the new young traders to become successful. You've all been invited to this party. Now we want you to have fun at the party. We don't want you to drink 12 shots of vodka, get really sick, sit out in the corner, bitching and hollering that nobody told you the rules. We want you to come here, have a nice glass of wine and learn the rules and learn the game and learn the plan and learn how to trade this market successfully. We will give you the most we can in the next hour. We will give you options and choices to hang out with us, to buy a course, to stay with us, to join David in his room, to buy the course and get mentorship and coaching for life. We will give you options, opportunities and choices to stay with us and join this journey with us because everybody who joins me and David Green are part of the family. We will be with you. We'll be here and we'll give you a chance to learn how to navigate this market successfully. That's our goal. That's our motivation. I'm in the middle of crazy ass traffic here in New York. I don't <laughs> want to kill a couple of little, I, I, I know you get points for getting a little old lady, but I don't want to do that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to pass it to David so I don't hurt anyone. We're going to do our best over the next hour and a half to answer your questions. I know people are asking questions about what is a moving average and all that. Look, the course that we have called Wall Street Global Training Academy is nine hours, 21 videos. It tells you everything about you, what you need to know. We're not going to get it all done tonight. Just sort of sit back and listen, take notes about things you're interested in. We will teach you about risk management, psychology of trading. We will teach you how to get into a trade. We'll teach you how to use a stop order. We'll teach you about the basics to make you a successful trader. When we're done with you after an hour and a half, besides having some fun, entertain you a bit and teach you a whole lot of serious jewels in the marketplace. You will then be able to go on on your own. You'll be able to join us and be part of the family. You're going to get a lot of stuff out of this. Don't think, don't tell us to please get the technical analysis quickly because you want a quick in and out. That's not what we do, guys. We're going to do our best to share what we know. We've been around a long time. We've got, we've got the keys to the castle. David has the keys to the castle and he's decided to come and share it with us tonight. Thank you. Go Peter. for it, Davey. Take, sure. take a breath, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, guys and girls, let's start out with um, getting a little information from the people that are here tonight. How many people in here? Yes, you're looking at Think or Swim on the charts. We'll get to that in a few minutes. What I want to do for the first little bit of this, guys and girls, is make you a 50% better trader than you were when you came in here in the next 20 or 30 minutes or so, okay? So I guarantee if you pay attention to this lesson, you're going to have a 50% better chance of succeeding than you did when you came in here, if you're not doing this now, all right? So we're going to talk a little bit about psychology, a little bit about money management, and most importantly, about trade management. How many people who are joining us tonight are either trading on a part-time or full-time basis? Give me a one. Wow. Okay. Traders, David. Traders. Put a one in there also if you just want to learn how to do this. Add yourself to that pile too. <laughs> Good. 
A lot of oh, we gotta wait like ten minutes so everybody answers. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of students. A lot of the people want to learn the most. Okay, guys Great. and girls. Good. You're in the right place. First of all, we have to be honest with each other. Think of us as like your psychiatrist. It's not going to work if you lie to them, right? How many people in this room who are actively trading or trying to learn how to trade are struggling? Give me a two. <laughs> it's probably okay. going to be almost as many, right, guys and girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's going to be. Define struggling. Um, getting into a trade, not knowing when to get out of it. Uh, writing my loses way too long and not getting the most out of my winning trades, not having stop orders on my trades and watching my PL just go to zero. Turning winning uh, trades into losing like that, trades. And girls. Turning winning trades into losing trades. Turning winning trades into losing trades, winning days into losing days. I lost 5K in two days. I was considering days not making 300. I hear you, Anthony. That's with you. Okay. All the above. Yep. I get great entries. Look. There are 457 people in here tonight. Revenge trading. All these things, guys, let's talk about all those things right now, okay? Come Risk on. management with options. Nervous to hit the trigger. Lost 3,000 in a day. One thing I can guarantee everybody in here tonight, all 459 of you, is if you listen to what we talk about tonight, you will never have another big losing day in your p &L ever. Okay? Ever. 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 I have been doing this for, I've had my private trading room for almost 10 years now, almost 10 years. Right now, there's only about 60 or 70 of us in the private trading room. I try to keep it very small. Um, we're going to open it up a little more to some new people because I think more people need access to it. Okay. But nobody who has ever been with me has blown up a trading account. We just will not have enough losing trades for that to ever happen. It just won't happen. If you're using the proper money management and psychological skills. Over the last 70 days, our win rate on our trades <clears throat> is about 85%. That is documented. It is written. So let it be written. So let it be done. But I can tell you this right now and tell me how many people have done this. Making money on nine out of your 10 trades does not guarantee you that you're going to be a profitable trader. Okay. Because Peter, how many times have we seen somebody make $100 on nine trades in a row and then lose $9,000 on the 10th trade, right? Okay, guys, let me let me say one thing, Davey. So look, what, what, what do most traders do? Okay, look, that's why David will promise you and guarantee you, if you listen to what he's about to tell you, you will never lose a large sum of money. We have people who come to us, Dave, I'm making money. I, 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 I'm 80% I'm on, on my trading capacity. I make $100 on six trades and then I lose 2,000, 3,000 on the last three trades. That is not a sustainable platform and a program for trading, right, guys? It's just not, right? We will teach you how to make small bits of money over and over again. So at the end of the day, you're green. At the end of the week, you have more money. At the end of the month, you will. You will make 100. You'll make 50s and 100s. Hit singles and doubles on a regular basis. So when you lose, you're only losing 50 or $100. We're not here swinging for the fences and trying to hit home runs, guys. This market is absolutely ruthless. Our friend Bill Ackman took a $430 million haircut on Netflix, okay? We are not swinging for the fences. This market is absolutely ruthless. This market today, let's just bring this up today and I'll pass it to you, David. Today, the, 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 the Federal Reserve raised interest rates. The news was already on the table, okay? The market posted out at two o'clock when they raised the rate, okay? It went down 80 handles on the S&P. It rallied up 60 handles on the S&P. It sold off 50 handles on the S&P. It did that over and over again, finally rallied 800 points on the Dow, and then sold off 700 points. That is a $9 trillion inflow and outflow into the marketplace. <laughs> How many people do you think got blown up today doing that? Because they didn't use stop orders. They had no plan. They used a mental stop. They got into a trade, didn't know how to get out of it, right? turned a winning trade. They thought it was going to go up. They hoped it was going to go up. Uncle Herbie on the internet told them to buy it, told them to short it. I guarantee nine out of 10 people or 10 out of 10 were wrong today because every time you were right and you didn't get out of the trade, you were wrong five minutes later. The stock market was trading at 20 handle intervals. That is 200 point intervals, 11 reversals today between two and four o'clock. That we will never let you blow up an account because of what David's about to tell you. Sorry, David. Yeah, guys, I'm going to show you some charts in a little bit of, 
And we basically traded water today till two o'clock. I think we had one losing trade and two winning trades in the morning. But after two o'clock, guys, we had, I think, four trades that hit perfectly that made our day in our week based on our technical analysis. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, I want to talk about a couple of things. All right. And this is very, very important. Number one, every single time we do a trade, we have a stop order. And that is the gospel. OK, awesome. if I get in, if I'm looking to buy the spies because it hits one of my levels on my chart. When I put in a limit order to buy that, if it goes below by a certain amount, I am done with that trade on to the next. When we get in a trade, and I'm going to show you how to do this a little later on, I want to make the most I possibly can on that trade. Yes, there's stop order for options, Jay. There's stop order for anything you can possibly do. And our techniques work for options. I have a few people in my room. All they do is day trade options because they have a smaller account, which is this, that's going to answer a question that a lot of you are asking right now. Can you do this with a small trading account? The answer is yes. Okay. So our number one rule in any trade that we make is we have to have a stop order. We don't trade sub penny stocks. And we don't um, trade penny those questions in a couple of minutes, guys. Let me get through my spiel here. Because when I finish with this, you're going to have a 50% better chance of succeeding if you follow these simple rules, okay? So every time we make a trade, we have a stop order. Do not change that stop order. I used to do this all the time. I'd buy a stock. It would start going against me, come close to where I want to get knocked out. And then I'd say to myself, let me give it a little more room. Anybody in the room ever done that? Let me give it a little more room. And before you know it, you're buying more stock and it turns into a big loss right? Don't ever do that. Look, guys, let's define what we're doing and what we're teaching you how to do. We're teaching you how to day trade, okay? Day trading is making finding trades during the day that we get in and out of. We look to make between 25 cents and $2 on most of the trades that we do. Unless we're in a trend trade, then we to make, look to make multiple dollars. And all this stuff is in the course, and we'll teach you about this stuff. But we are, and some people call it scalping. I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. Every trade we make, we look to make between 25 cents and two or three dollars, depending on the price of the stock. Generally speaking, guys and girls, you should be using a 1% stop order on every trade that you do. If you're trading a $50 stock, you should have a 50 cent stop. If you're trading a hundred dollar stock, you should have a dollar stop. Um, for the higher price stocks, what we tell everybody to do, we trade Tesla all the time. It's a $300 stock, and it has been very, very good to us, okay? Since the split, I mean, it has been... I want to show you two things in Tesla right now, guys, okay? Not necessarily, I, but we'll talk about that later. I, I got to show you these two things in Tesla that happened after the Fed made their announcement. Everybody in the room, see this white line down here? Give me a one. Okay. That's our 200-minute moving average. We're going to make a trade 99.9% of the time my stock hits that. This stock went from 310, guys, to 303. Look what happened when it hit that white line. Did it stop going down and start going up? You bet your bippy it did, okay? And look what happened here, guys, when it went up to yesterday's high. Okay, that's all right. It's easier for me to illustrate, Anthony. Look what happened here when it went up to yesterday's high at 313.8. It stopped going up and started going down. Two spectacular trades. One of them, if we got in at 303, it didn't really tell you to sell it to 308. And one of them, if you shorted at 313, didn't tell you to buy it until 308. So five points both ways in this stock. This happened after the Fed announcement came out. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But here's the deal, right? If I buy Tesla here, and this is the, what I tell everybody, and if you're a smaller trader in a stock like Tesla, you trade 10 shares, 20 shares, 30 shares, Okay. And I, you have to give Tesla a three dollar a three dollar stop. So if you're a hundred share trader, I'm risking three hundred bucks on this trade, three points, and we'll make between four, five, six points on it when it goes up. Okay. Um, always use limit orders when you are getting into trades based on technical analysis. But again, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, and we'll talk about that in a couple of minutes, Shoni. All right. Let me get this first part of it done because this is going to make the difference between you becoming a successful trader and not. Okay. Have a stop order on every single trade that you do. Here's what we do once we're in a good trade. This is money management. Once I'm in this trade in Tesla, 
I always want to take 50% of my profits for 50 cents or a dollar on every single trade that we do. Listen to this to me, everybody. If you get into a good trade and you're day trading, I want you to take half of that trade off for a 50 cent or a dollar profit. I always, always want to put money in the bank. It is such a great feeling to be in a trade and now know I cannot lose money on that trade. Because what we're going to do now, guys and girls, is once we have that profit on our trade, raise your stop order to break even. You cannot lose money on the trade. If we have a $2 profit, raise your stop order to lock in a dollar profit. Now I'm making at least a dollar on the trade. If you have a $4 profit and you're still in it on a little bit, raise your stop order to $3 and you cannot lose money on the trade. This is a, how many people in this room get into a trade, don't take their profits and it turns into a loss. Give me a six. I want to change up the numbers now. Everybody, everybody. Guys, the re this is what I, I get passionate about this part of it, guys and girls, because these mistakes you can get rid of. You don't have to make these mistakes. The you best don't part have about to. what we're talking about now, and guys, I apologize if I get a little loud now, but this is not something that takes a long time to learn, okay? In 30 minutes, I'm going to teach you all this. If you follow these simple lessons, you're going to have a 50% better chance of succeeding at this. And I talk about this in F and item. I talk to the people in my room about money management and trade management all day long because this is why we fail. It's not from reading these charts, guys and girls. That's the easier part of this, although it takes time. But we fail because we don't know what to do once we get into a trade. We will never turn a winning trade into a losing team. Write it down. What a concept. What a this concept. This is Moses walking down Mount Sinai with the Ten Commandments now, guys and girls. Okay? Once I have a profit in a trade, I will never let that turn into a losing trade. Okay? I will never average into a trade. Give me a seven, guys. How many people have bought a stock here? and then bought it here, and then bought it here, and then bought it here, and blew up their trading account. We've all done it. We are day trading. Guys, get used to losing. Get used to having losing trades. A losing trade does not mean you're a loser, and it doesn't mean you don't know how to trade. We have them all the time, okay? It happens. But how you'll do you come back, your losing you'll come trades? back from a bad day. What did you say, Pete? I'm sorry? You'll come, you'll come back from a bad day. But no, not if you lose eight grand on the trade. If you lose 100, lose 100, lose 100, David will tell you the rules about losing. You'll come back from a bad day. You'll come back from a bad week. As okay. long as you don't lose thousands and thousands of dollars. It's a mindset, ladies and gentlemen. Hit singles and doubles. Not shoot for a home run. You may win. You may get lucky on a home run. I'm sure there's some people out there who did. But I promise you, you made money in GameStop, you gave it back tenfold on all the other things that didn't work out for you. These are rules, ladies and gentlemen. They're really strict. You can't use some of Dave's and some of yours. They're actually pretty simple, but they're really hard because they're counterintuitive to our nature. We want to get into a stock. We don't want to accept the loss. So we average into a bad trade. We want to get into a stock, but for some reason, we don't want to use a stop order because we've been told this conspiracy theory that the market maker is watching my stop orders. Trust me, no market maker is looking at your goddamn stop orders. We want you to be successful. The mistakes that unsuccessful traders make are all the same. They don't have a plan. They use a mental stop. They average into a stock and they, 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 they refuse to get out of the losers and they will sit they don't want to take a loss of 50 bucks but they will average into a bad trade and lose 400 dollars. it's kind of nutty isn't it wouldn't you rather if you're wrong in this market you're wrong it's straight up guys if you're wrong for 50 cents you're wrong it doesn't make you a bad trader or a bad or whatever you're just wrong on this trade the market could have turned around could have been a federal reserve day anything could have happened it doesn't matter if we're wrong for 1%, we're wrong. We're going to move on to the next trade. There are a yeah. thousand opportunities in the naked city. If you're right in the trade, you start to take a profit right away. You move your stop up to break even so you cannot turn a winning trade into a losing day. A trade. You're trading from a level of confidence. You got money in the friggin' bank and you can sit back and get the most out of your winners and the least out of your losers. Sorry, David, I get past That's you. okay, Pete. That's fine. So that's the number one rule, guys, okay? Once you have a profit in a stock, move up your stop order, take the profits, never turn that into a losing trade. Matt, there's a few questions pertaining to this. And, and I know, guys, let's keep the questions to this right now, but let's go over a couple of them and catch up for everybody. Okay. 
Uh, just looking for, I guess, a little more clarification on stop orders. Is it always 1%? Is the stop order the minimum price you'll buy a stock for? Um, okay. A stop order is not the minimum price that will buy a stock order. James, unfortunately, the market is, uh, after hours this late, I cannot show you how to place a stop order, but we show you how to place a stop order in the course many, many, many times. Yet, James, again, I don't even want to talk about the course yet. Let's do what we're doing here, okay? Generally speaking, and James, I have plenty of, we have plenty of people who don't know the difference between a stock and a clock that we have taught and they have become successful. I have some people in my room that I'm going to let speak tonight in a few minutes that will tell you they started their journey trading 10 shares of stock. And now they're at the point where they trade 1,000 shares every time they make a trade or they make trade 2,000 shares. The, one of the best things about what we do, everybody, is that this is scalable, okay? So I don't care if you trade one share at the beginning. I don't care. I don't care if you trade, you know, 10 shares. It doesn't matter. Here's what I tell people. This should be your average. If you're trading 100 shares a day, you should look to make 100 bucks a day. That is a good day for you. If you're trading 1,000 shares, $1,000 a day is a good trade for you and anywhere in between. That's what we should be looking to do, okay? Um, generally you know speaking... What? Generally speaking, we use a 1% on our stop order. Generally speaking. Look, 99% of the trades I get in, guys, I'm not risking more than a dollar unless there is, you know, a special circumstance. I don't, if I'm wrong, guys, if I buy a stock and it goes down a dollar, chances are I'm wrong, right? Yeah. And we get out of the trade. Again, you try to become, and you will, and it takes a long time, but you will, a robot, okay? You'll become a robot at this. Guys, I don't make a trade until one of these lines on my charts tells me to make a trade. And by doing that, and this is, I have a big argument with people all the time about this, is, is trading gambling, right? And most people will tell you that day trading, they think, is gambling. But number one, if you, if you use the things that we're talking about now and then combine that with the technical analysis, guys, I don't get into a trade until the odds of that trade working are in my favor. And it works about eight, eight and a half times out of 10. And I'm not making a trade until one of the lines in my charts tells me to. And by doing that, and then once we get in using the trade management rules, we are putting the odds in our favor of our trades working. Okay? You go to a casino, you're going to lose in every game you play because the odds are against you. But by using technical analysis and then the money management skills, the odds are going to be in your favor. All right. So that's number one. Yes, as Ken said, David, the mathematical David outcome. One, this is David not rocket science. It takes a while to learn. But very simply, guys, we're making trades when something hits a line on our chart. It's that okay. simple. Okay. Somebody just posted, Davey, that they always get stopped. They're angry because they always get stopped out on all their orders. Well, that's not something to be angry about. That means that you're protecting yourself from losing a lot of money. If you're getting stopped out, that means you're in a bad trade because you probably didn't get into the trade for the right reasons. Maybe you got in because of FOMO. Maybe you got in because you hoped it would go up. Maybe you got in because some guy on the internet told you to buy it. The bottom line is if you're getting stopped out on all your trades, you're getting into bad trades. And you're, the stop is protecting you from losing a lot of money. Don't get angry at that. Just learn what you need to know to get into a stock so that the probability it's going to be a good trade. And that's what technical analysis does. Sorry. Yeah, and that. also, guys, you have two things you have to do when you get in a trade. You have to give it a little room. Think about this, okay? We're watching the SPY go down from 387 to 380. Are we going to pick the exact penny that it stops going down? On most of our trades, we're not going to get in at the exact right price, right? This so happened to only go below it by four cents because we had a technical reason to buy it here. It only went below it by four cents and then went up $6. That's your technical analysis part kicking in. But you also can't get into a trade Number one, expect it to work in 10 seconds. Okay, you got to be patient. And as long as something's not going against you, I'll stay in that trade until it hits my levels on the upside where I want to get out of it. Okay? Good traders should be bored most of the time. We spend a lot of time in our room singing and playing Name That Tune. Okay? Good traders should be bored most of the time. If you get two or three trades a day, you're doing very well. Then you just get it to the point where you can do a little size Think about this, guys. You get to the point where you're trading 500 shares. Okay? Let's say you average one good trade a day. That's 250 bucks. Okay? That's 50 something thousand dollars a year. There you go. And then it can just scale up or down from there. Okay? If you're getting stopped out most of the time, guys and girls, you're not getting into your trades at the right time. You're not using the proper technical analysis. 
It's that simple. Right. Okay, yep. Evo, and everybody else, it is not, if you're getting stopped out all the time, you're not doing, you're not just, you're not using a proper technical analysis. All Correct. right, number two, and a lot of people don't want to hear this, guys and girls, there are going to be days where things don't work. It happens. It happens to us. But if I have three losing trades in one day, I am gone. I'm done. It was a bad day. As Peter said earlier, we'll come back from a bad day. I'll come back from five losing bad days in a row. Because if I'm a 100-share trader and my max loss is 100 or $150, okay, I lost 600 bucks for the week. I lost 700 bucks for the week. I didn't lose $7,000, okay? Right. I lost $700. It's 2% of my account, whatever it is. And that, by the way, guys, that's never happened to us, okay? We have never lost money five days in a row, ever. In, in, in our trading, ever, ever, ever. But the thing is, when you have a day where you have, and I do it with three losing trades. If I do 100 shares, I lose 50 bucks, I lose 50 bucks, I lose 50 bucks. I am done trading for the day. Goodbye, I'm out of here, that's done. What is gonna happen, I know I am, Ken. What is gonna happen, guys, when after you have three losing trades in a row, what do you think the next trade is gonna be? It's gonna be loser number four. And the trade after that's going to be loser number five. I can yep. almost guarantee it, right? An Revenge almost trade. guarantee. Okay? More importantly, guys, is knowing when to stop when we're making money. How many people in this room, let's go with a number nine, okay, have turned a nice winning day into a losing day? You guys were putting up the numbers before I even got it out of my mouth, right? Everybody. I have done this. Here's the thing, guys and girls. We have made all these mistakes. I have made all these mistakes over and over and over again, okay? Everybody has. This is a hard thing to do, but the hard part of this is here. It's not on the chart. It's here, okay? And that's what we have to get through our heads. I will never turn a winning day into a losing day, ever, ever, ever. And I'm not talking about if you make $12. You're trading 100 shares. Your goal is to make 100 bucks a day. And this happens in my room all the time. There are some days we are done trading by 10 o'clock, sometimes 9.45, sometimes 10.30, whatever. If you're trading 100 shares and your goal is to make $100, when you make that $100, lose, leave. Leave. Get out of here. What's the most precious commodity in the world, everybody? All together now? Time. Time. We are not getting it back, guys and girls. So how nice it is on the, the days where we can make all of our money by 1030 in the morning and go and do whatever we want for the rest of the day. Nine times out of 10, what's going to happen, guys, is you're going to have one losing trade, okay? Then you're going to say, just let me get the money back that I lost, and I'll leave. You're going to have two losing trades. You're going to bring even now, and you're going to say, you know what? I'm not trading to be even. And now you're going to have a losing trade, and you've turned a winning trade into a losing day. I, we will never, ever, ever, ever do that. Okay, never turn a winning day into a losing day. When you hit your goal, leave. However, if you choose to stay, we always kick in what we call the 20%. If your goal is to make 100 bucks and at any point during the day, you give back 20%, you want to do another trade, fine. You're up to 80 bucks now, get out of here. And the reason, ladies and gentlemen, that this is so hard is because there's no trading angel sitting on our shoulder saying, Dave, you just gave back 20% of your profits. Turn your machine off, right? We have to do this ourselves. And that's why this is so, so hard. It is. There's 500 people in here, guys. By the rules, 450 of you are not going to be able to figure out how to do this, okay? You guys want to be no one judgment. of those 450 We're not judging people? You. Or do you want to be one of the 50 people who figures out how to do this? Exception to the rule. We all want, you, guys we want you all to be the exception to the rule. Because if you follow That's the rules the that we, we just did. talked about, okay, have a stop order in every single trade that you do. Never average into a trade. Never turn a winning day into a losing day. And also, guys, and a lot of people have done this, okay, never turn a day trade into a bad swing trade. How many of us have done that? I'm in a trade at the end of the day, and I take it home hoping and praying that tomorrow it works out for me. In this market, <laughs> you have to be a maniac to do that. <laughs> you do. You have to be a maniac to do that. 
How do you pro use a, uh, properly use a stop order? The options the same way you do a stock, Jay. Same way you do a stock. If you buy an option for a dollar fifty, you can put a stop order in at a dollar twenty-five. Same way. Matt, do we have any other questions pertaining to this? I think we're pretty good. No, I think we're okay. Uh, can you explain what a stop order is? Yes. You know, I got to keep reminding myself that there might be some people in here that have never traded before. A stop order, guys, very simply limits the amount of money that you're willing to lose on a trade. Okay? Example. I, I, won't, I won't even use a number. I buy SPY at 380. I'm going to put in a stop order at 379. I do not want to lose more than a dollar. Okay? That's what a stop order is. And if it goes down... It protects me from losing any more money than that. How many people in this room use mental stops? That's another big thing I hear from people. Yeah, I'm I don't use hard one. stops. I use a mental stop. Well, I can tell you this right now. You're mental, mental if you use mental stops, exactly. especially in this market. You it's cannot. Exactly. You cannot use mental stops in this market. You will get blown out of the water. One of the most important things that we teach people in the course is to use a bracket order when you make a trade. OK, I'm not going to get into too much detail in it, but a bracket order, ladies and gentlemen, you put the place where you want to buy it. It automatically puts in your stop order and it automatically puts in your profit targets. It takes the trade out of your hands. OK, if you're using Thinkorswim, if you're using TD Ameritrade, if you're using most platforms that you use, you can do a bracket order. Now you just sit back when you get in a trade and it's Ron Peel. Right? Set it and forget it. Okay? Our trading techniques will work for anything that you trade, guys and girls. Um, do you personally use a Fibonacci tool to determine stop? No, we use a percentage of the trade, Jacob. Okay? Very, very, very important that you use a bracket order when you get into the trade. I am new to this. How do I learn? Jern, you're, George, you are in the right spot. We're teaching you a bunch of stuff tonight. Okay? For those of you who are just learning, guys and girls, all right, let me ask this question. How many people in this room have spent money on education, trying to learn how to do this? Let's go back to ones. Wow. If I wait long okay. enough, we're going to get 480 ones. <laughs> right? How many people have taken what they paid for and turned it? Stop for a minute, guys. <laughs> money well it's spent. Coming, right, that's baby. great. One, but it was kind of both BS. How many people who have paid for something are not using it now or it didn't work? Give me a one. Almost the same amount. Okay. What we do in our course, guys, is to teach you what we exactly talked about tonight, right? Nobody can guarantee anybody's going to do anything. But anyone who purchases our course, a couple of things I'm going to do tonight. And I don't want anyone to leave yet because Peter, Peter always gets mad. At Kevin, I'm, I'm doing this for 35 years, Kevin. Um, I've been teaching for the last 15 years. Um, so I'm doing this for a long, long time. I have a course that's on Investopedia that please don't go and buy it. It's outdated and it's ridiculous. Me and Peter curated this course in um, 2020. In 2020, and one of the, go ahead, Pete. You tell the story why we did it, and and don't go oh, and, don't go for 20 minutes. <laughs> no, 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 guys. Look, we saw what was going on in the market, right? I was in GameStop when the shit went wild. I was on the floor during COVID. We saw what was happening. We saw the surgeons of 45 million, million new retail traders, and we knew that stocks that go and everybody thought it was a get rich quick scheme, right? Everybody thought they had diamond hands. Look, I. I I've embraced the retail community. I speak to everybody all the time, the guys who got into the meme stocks, the Wall Street bets of the world and all that. I know what's going on. I got my finger on the pulse of what's going on. And I know that most people lost money on all those trades. They bought, you know, GameStop went from two to 483, while most people bought it at 440 and it went to 150. Most people got locked into AMC at 60. It never saw 60 again. So we got that, we saw right? That there were millions and millions of new people coming in. We saw the ground swell and we said, you know what? We know enough to know that most people, the ones who are, most people will never admit they lost. 
Everyone's posting pictures of their Bugattis and stacks of $10,000 bills. I know if I made that kind of money, I wouldn't be showing it to all you all, right? So anybody who did that is full of BS, I'm sorry. And then nine out of 10 people who were trading the market, you know, who bought everything on May 23rd, 2020, watched it go up, thought they were going to the moon and they had diamond hands, ended up blowing up their accounts. So David and I said, what, a, what an opportunity, right? We love what we do, right? We're not, we're here because we love what we do and we wanna share it with people. So we saw millions of new opportunities. People came in the market. We wanted them to do it successfully. And we know nine out of 10 people who do this do not succeed. So we decided to curate a course and so that we can help people teach them the simple rules. It's about rules, ladies and gentlemen. It's about psychology, okay? We just described to you five different rules that are the rules that successful traders use and not successful traders don't use. This is not rocket science. It's not that friggin' hard to use a stop order in every trade, not four out of seven trades, every trade. If you use a stop order on every trade down 1%, you'll never lose a lot of money. Losing a lot of money doesn't happen by accident or surprise, right? Having a plan when you get into a stock, how to get out of it. Taking a profit up 1% when you're in and then moving your stop up, right? Have a target amount you're going to make in a day. We have people who've, who've taken on one or da adopted one or two of our rules and it's changed their lives in trading. We had a young lady who had uh, has plenty of money to trade. She wouldn't have a plan how much she wanted to make. She'd come in, she was up two grand. She thought she had diamond hands. That day she'd end up down four grand by the end of the day. We're teaching you rules that work. It's out of experience that we do this. It's out of love of what we do that we do this. Our motivation is pure to be able to make you all successful traders. You are the future of the investment community. Thank you, Peter. Yes, sir. Um, okay. All right, a couple of things. Let's talk about this for a minute, guys. Does everybody have any questions about the money management rules? Because really, guys and girls, it's as simple as that. Okay? It's as simple as that. Anybody have any questions about having a stop order, about stopping trading when you're making money, it's about stopping trading when you're losing money, and about never averaging into a trade? Anybody have any questions about that? Yes, we use trailing stops to matter. 150 yes. percent yes a trailing stop is we get in a stock it goes up we bring our stop order off so we can't lose money why is it that we can't have mental stop orders that's a great question Stephen. okay that is a great question because 90 percent of the time when you have a mental stop order you're not going to use it because you're not going to want to take the loss exactly okay? you're not you're not and everybody who's been in my room with me will tell you that when they use mental stop orders, they did nothing but lose money. Okay. They now, let's explain to people what a mental stop is, guys. So we just explained to you what a real stop is. You buy it at 50, right? You put a stop in at 49 and a half, which means if the trade goes against you, you get stopped out, you lose 50 bucks, you're done. A mental stop, which for some bizarre reason, people in the retail community think that there are, there, that there are aliens out there who see their stop orders and they're trying to screw them over. At the end of the day, a mental stop is you buy it at 50 and you think if it goes against you, then you're going to get out. There's nothing automatic about it. You're going to watch it and hope it doesn't go down. Well, what happens when it gets to the spot where you should be selling it and you think, well, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Maybe this trade will work. So you buy more. Oh, maybe down a dollar, I got to buy more. Down $2, I got to buy more. Mental stops do not work. Market makers and specialists do not see your stop orders. Just use them. It's like a guardrail. It's like in your car. What not it wonderful when you bought a new car and then now have these things, if you go out of your lane, it gives you a beep. Or if you're going to take a left and there's someone coming at you, it makes a beep. It's the same thing. We need guidelines to protect us against ourselves. That's what a friggin' stop order is. It protects you from losing a lot of money. Sorry, Dave. Go ahead. Thank you. All right, uh, Matt, I want you to give me a couple of questions here because I see some good ones. Guys, then I'm going to talk about, I want to talk about the course for a few minutes. And then I'm going to give you guys some technical analysis. Uh, Matt, can you read me Jeffrey's question? Jeffrey Solbaran. All right, let's see if I can find that. Uh, uh, doesn't your risk reward get messed up when you take profits before your full profit target? Okay, great question, Jeffrey. Good question. All right, so let's look at this Tesla trade and see tell, see what would, how this would have worked out for us, right? Let's say we bought 100 shares of Tesla at 303. Okay, I sold half of them for 50 cents. I sold 25% for a dollar and I held on to the rest until it told me to get out of it. I would have made four points on the last little part of that. Okay. 
So let's say I do the trade and I got stepped out. I averaged $2.50 on this and maybe I would have risked a dollar. And also to answer your second part of the question, we, if we make money on eight of our 10 trades, our risk reward doesn't have to be the same. You understand that, right? If I make money eight out of the 10 trades that I make, our risk reward is not, doesn't have to be, I have to make 50 cents and then I lose 50 cents because we're doing it and making it money eight out of 10 times, okay? So that's why we take profits on a way up. Uh, how often do you get stopped out on an average day? That's a great question. Sometimes we get stopped out on two out of four trades. Sometimes days we don't get stopped out on any. Some days we get stopped out on one out of six. Depends on the day. But again, yeah. okay, we are never going to have a day where we lose a lot of money, guys and girls. It's just never, ever, ever going to happen. Ever. It is not going to happen. And you cannot let that happen to you. Yeah, four points is four dollars. Okay. Getting stopped out is not a bad thing. Getting stopped out means you were in a bad trade and you just protected yourself from losing a lot of money, guys. It's getting stopped out's a good thing. If you don't get stopped out, you'll turn a $50 potential loss to a $400 loss. Guys, why is everyone think has this psychology of this thing twisted up? A stop order is there to protect your downside risk. It's still freaking, guys, it's like drug dealing. You're willing to make, I'm willing to lose $50 to make $200. If they gave me that opportunity, I would do it all day long, right? Anybody would. Are you willing to, lo to lose 50 to make 200? Absolutely, I'll do it over and over and over again. But I'm not willing to lose 500 to make 100. Those odds are not really good in my favor, right? Because if I'm in two of those trades, I'm going to be down a grand. So that's what a stop order does. It protects your downside risk. If you're in a bad trade, you want to get out of a bad trade. That's what a stop order does. It's a great thing. It's one of the greatest gifts that the stock exchange gives us. We can identify how much we're willing to lose to make more money. Yeah, I want to just um, get to Shara Spa's question, uh, what she posted here, because this is something that you got to get out of your head. She said, you don't, or whoever it was, said, you don't lose to yourself. We cannot have that attitude in day trading, okay? A lot of people who are in AMC at $63 are still saying, yeah, I'm going to show you a couple of these things now. Yeah, right. Okay? A lot of people who are in AMC at $65 are still saying, I don't lose to I sell. Well, you don't have a trading account anymore, okay? Correct. A lot of people who are in GameStop at $483. I don't lose till I sell. It's at $19 now. You don't have a trading account anymore, but you don't lose to yourself. We are trading guys. Is, We're in and out. It's very quick. That's what we want to do. We want to get as many trades twisted. as we can during the day. Okay. And we want to get in and out of them. Now, a few people I saw asking questions um, about the course, guys. So I'm going to talk about it for a couple of minutes. This course is geared to the absolute, absolute beginning trader who doesn't know the difference between a stock and a stock, a stock and a clock, okay? So I saw a few, few people saying, this is way over my head. We haven't even started talking about our charts yet, all right? Don't be intimidated by this, okay? The course covers everything from A to Z. I'm going to show you this, guys, right now, all right? So here is our course. This, this, is, this is by far the, the thing I'm most proud about that me and Peter have ever done, all right? The course costs $299, guys. And for the $299 you're going to pay for this course, you get continued mentorship with us forever on every live. Thursday night, live, tomorrow night. Anyone who buys a course now, tomorrow night, you're going to get mentorship at five o'clock. Okay. Let me show you a little bit of what the course entails. This is what it entails. So you beginning traders don't run anywhere. The basics of the stock market. There's a whole video language of the stock market. There's all videos. What we just talked about right now, guys, money management, there's all videos. Setting up your charts, trading techniques, swing trading, options trading. And the best thing about all this, guys and girls, okay, is the archives. I want to show you this. $2.99, one time, Tradina, and you own one it time forever. Charge. You have it forever. Forever. You mentorship every Thursday night. There's 21 videos, nine hours, plus 100 hours of content in the archives. Okay. I'll answer that in a minute, Sharers. What makes us different from the other people, 3,000 people? 
that pay for course. I'll answer it right now. Number one, we're only charging 300 bucks for a course. We're not charging $3,000, $5,000 or $10,000. Number two, I guarantee you that you will learn more in this course for 300 bucks than any other course you have ever taken in your life. Not only do I guarantee it, I will give you your money yes, back if you don't. And that goes for every single person in here. You don't like it, you take the course, we will give you your money back, okay? 100% with no questions asked, all right? That's it. If you're already making money trading, guys, this has advanced trading techniques in it, okay? Now, I want to show you our archives. Chris, me and Peter are men of our words, okay? Your word is your bond. That's how it's always been on Wall Street. That's how it always will be. That, that it's, is uh, David, it's David, in the, in the disclaimer, it says money back guarantee, guys. You got Integrity a problem with that? is what I am all about, okay? We are not going to lie and we're not going to bullshit to anybody, all right? This is the best part of the class in addition to everything else here. We have archives, guys, of every Thursday night we have ever done. From September 22, which was last week, going back until we started the course. In August of 21, you can go back. There's over 200, 200 of these. Every Thursday night, whatever we talk about, we put up here. Here, guys, watch list and scanners. This alone is worth 300 bucks for this course. You can. This is something that Ken, who's here in the room, did for us. You set up watch list and scanners. It makes our job even easier to do. And there are 100 of these, okay? 100 of these. The course is a one-time charge. That is it. You never pay again. Okay? And I can tell you this right now, guys and girls, me and Peter are not making a lot of money selling a course for $300. I don't care if we sell 10000 of them. We're just not. Okay? We have a million other people that we give money to and, and blah, 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 whatever it is. I do this because I love to do it. All right? And we get paid a little bit for our time? Of course. But I guarantee you, this is a better course than you'll spend thirty thousand dollars on at the uh, online trading online academy, training. right? Mm -hmm. And and the, and the best thing is, we're gonna be with you. We are gonna be with you every single Thursday night. We have some of the most incredible sessions. It's a beautiful thing. It really, really is. Um, Pete, I'm gonna leave this up here. I want you to talk about the course for like five minutes. Oh, here's the thing. Boom! I forgot about this. Ryan, I'm going to talk about this right now. And guys, look, everyone's asking about the chat room and how do I join the live trading room? Okay. At SMB, they're charging $6,000 for two months of mentoring. And I know the guy who runs SMB. And I'm not saying they don't have a good program, okay? But they don't even let you trade for three months. And then you start out trading 10 shares and you got to go through all these programs. Am I right, Chris, or am I wrong? I know uh, the guy who, who runs the place and he's a good guy right? He's a good guy. But you're going to learn more in this course, guys, I guarantee you, than you're going to learn in the SMB over two months. I guarantee it, okay? I guarantee it. It's a one-time payment. And here's what I'm going to do, guys, tonight, okay? And don't get mad at me, Peter. Anyone who buys the course between now and Sunday, next week is my live boot camp. I have a boot camp once every month where I go over the entire course live for anyone who's part of my regular trading room okay we do that once a month once you remember in my room once you yeah we can work something out chat yes once you're a member of my room i do a boot camp once a month where for an entire week i do the whole course anyone wow. who buys the course between now and sunday is going to be invited to my room next week to do the boot camp live for an entire <laughs> week okay so for 200, guys, I charge $1,300 for that week and people pay me. So anyone who buys the course between now, okay, and Sunday, yes, we're going to talk a little talk technical analysis, Sheriff. Don't leave yet. But anyone who buys the course between now and Sunday can come into my room and stay with us all next week and I'll go over the entire course. Yes, this also goes for people who have bought the course and have not come into my room yet. So Dawn, yes, you bought the course yesterday. You can come in. And guys, anyone who has already purchased the course, send Roman an email, okay? And you can come in next week. Roman, please post the email again. Yes. 
I know we sold like 45 courses in the last three days, guys. You guys are all welcome. Okay. So you're all included. Everybody is included. All right. Boot camp is for the whole week. Boot camp is for the entire week, 8.30 a.m. till 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Yes, David, you're getting you're getting uh, access. I can't hire him. I know I can't work around it, unfortunately. I go to on, you're going to online trading academy this weekend for three days to see what it is. They are charging oh fifteen thousand dollars. Steven. Get mentor. Come Steven, on, Steven. I guarantee I know those guys in online trading academy. They wanted me to come work there and become one of their teachers. I told them absolutely not because I don't believe in what you're doing. I, I just don't believe in it. And again, I'm not telling you not to, but you're silly, Steve, if you don't spend 300 bucks first. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> I can tell you that right now, right? Yes, you will physically be in my trading room. You're going to get a link and you will physically be in my room. Yeah, James, that works for me. Yes, 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 that works for me, 100%. Yeah, you'll be in a Zoom room, guys, with me next week. From 8 30 in the morning till 3 30 during market hours. During market hours. Live yes, trading. We're guys. Trade the markets live as we learn the entire class. I don't do this, guys, ever. Ever, ever, ever. No, you're not paying anything extra for the week, AB. You're getting my $1,300 boot camp. Okay. By buying the course in the next couple of days. Let me we, rant about the course for a sec. How long do you see this lasting? A couple of years? What's your outlook for longevity? Good question, Vincenzo. So <laughs> I am 60. I'm going to be 62 years old in a few days, right? This is my passion. This is my love. This is my life. Uh, am I going to move on eventually? You bet I am. Am I going to have people that can do the same exact thing that I do? Yes. They're going to be taking over the room probably when I turn about 85 or 90. Okay. And guys, oh, yes. and guys, I'm a hundred, I'm 137 years old, right? <laughs> I'm kind of like that guy in the green mile, uh, Tom Hanks, right? I will be here for at least another 137 years. I really look good for my age. I've been destined to be alive until the end of time. So you don't have to ever worry about it. So Lenford, Lenford asked, do you give live signals in trading? Lenford? No. I post every single trade that we do live in real time. Okay. In my real money trading account. Now, as always a disclaimer, everybody pushes their own buttons. Okay. No, but Davy, yes. you know what, Davy? I don't think I don't think it's the right impression to get. Guys, we are not, we we don't give David is actually trading the market live when things set up technically. But we are not the guys who sell a subscription for $29.99 a month, who give you financial advice and who pick stocks for you when they're out there buying them and they're pumping and dumping them. That's no. not who we are. We are teachers. We are here to give you a toolbox, fill it with tools so that you, when you need to on your own, can figure out when a stock sets up technically. We don't pick stocks for you. We will give you watch lists. We will walk you through everything. Let's talk about the course, guys. It's nine hours, 21 videos. Everything about the language of the stock market, setting up your charts, okay? We will give you the five technical analysis trades. We'll give you the criteria that you use to get into every one of these trades. We teach you about swing trading and option trading, okay? The course is super friendly and fun. It's not a bunch of slides. It's me moderating and David teaching on live screen. It's awesome. Let's be clear about that mentorship program. Everybody who buys the course, everyone who's a student at WSGTA is a one-time charge of $2.99. You buy the course, you watch it on your own time. You can watch it in the middle of the night when you're chilling. Every Thursday night, you get a Zoom invite to be on a live Zoom with me and David Green at 5 p.m. to 6.30 every Thursday night. You come there with questions about stuff that was just just, you just couldn't make any sense out of. You got to a spot in the course, you didn't get it. Any question you have, you come on. We have a wonderful family. People help each other out. And you ask those questions. We go over individual trades. We go over the course live week after week after week. In the archives, of course, is 100 hours of the Q&As from the last 18 months that we've answered every question. We even have Q&As that have specialized and individual things like watch list, Fibonacci, Shabu Shabu, anything you could want to learn, it's in the archives. You own it. It's yours. It's hundreds of hours of stuff. Scanners, right? Bracket orders. We've got it all there, guys. 
So the mentoring program is for everyone who buys the course and we're there live with you every Thursday night to hold your hand and coach you, right? There are three different things you can do. You're here live on a free webinar. We're happy to drop this knowledge. We're thrilled you're all here, really. I mean, 450 people, 483 at the peak. It's awesome. David's offering you something special. We're offering you a course. It's $299. It's a friggin' giveaway. We sold it for two years for $499. The greatest thing about it is the secret sauce, the key to the castle is the mentorship and coaching. We're here to walk you through it until you can do this successfully on your own. The course is fun. It's accessible. It's affordable and fun. It's not a bunch of boring ass slides with some old man standing in front of it trying to teach you who's never done this. I'm on there. I've been doing this for hundreds of years. David for 37 years. Okay. David is offering you. David has a boot camp. He has a chat room, right? The chat room is called the greenroom-live.com. We'll talk about that another time. David has a boot camp he offers once a month for $1,300 where he goes over the course live. In his, in his trading room, they live trade. But once a month, he spends the time and goes over the whole course and teaches it live with all of his students. Today, if you buy the course between now and Sunday night, for $2.99, you get that mentorship and Dave will give you a free week in the room during boot camp. That is going to catalyze, blow the friggin' ceiling off of your trading and take you to the next level super fast. That's what we're offering here tonight. Just have some fun. Join us. If you don't like it, money back guarantee. All right, Peter, thanks. A um, couple of things, guys and girls. I just want to clarify something uh, that Peter said. Um, I post the exact entries that we're getting into out of trades live all day for educational purposes only. How's that sound, guys? <laughs> So you'll see where we're getting into the course. Is the course too basic though? Ron, take it. If you think it's too basic, we'll give you your money back. We get into some, some pretty advanced stuff in the course, okay? Also, guys, next week, Ken is with us tonight. Ken is going to go over. Ken, what are you going to go over? Um, Ken, yeah, we're going to do a ton of technical analysis. Fibonacci. Ken is going to do Fibonacci's next week. Ken is going to do scanners. Ken is going to do... Um, 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 what else is Ken going to do? Scanners, Fibonacci's, and bracket orders. I have an options expert in the room who's going to go for three or four hours next week to talk to you about options, okay? And we're going to have, uh, Peter's going to stop in every once in a while, right? Yep. Um, listen, Ron, you're not going to find two more honest guys than us. It just doesn't exist. I'm getting rid of this now. All right. The boot camp is never recorded. It is too, pri too proprietary. I do not record the boot camp. Absolutely not. That's one thing we don't do. How can I begin a payment plan? Uh, Roman, not post the post. We don't usually do pay payment plan, guys, because what we find is that people don't follow through on their payment plans. But, and it's um, also it's email, $2.99, guys. It's two ninety nine. Let's be real. We yeah, used to be four ninety nine online. And this guy's about to pay fifteen grand for a weekend of mentoring at Online Trading Academy. Two hundred ninety nine dollars is the bottom line price. You pay it, and you're getting value up the wazoo. So that's yeah. it. That's it, guys. We hope you can do it. Join us. We'd love to have you with us. I know. Imagine paying fifteen thousand dollars for a course. Uh, boot camp uh, really. sessions, Brandon, are starting on Monday, eight thirty a.m. till about three o'clock. You might have to pay a little bit more, Shaq. It'll be worth it. It's okay. Just all the taxes. It's all worth it. How do we get it. access to the chat group? If you buy the course, you're going to get in there next week. After next week, if you want to stay with us, we'll talk to you about it. Okay? After, you, after next week, if you come into my room and you want to be a room member, we'll talk about it next week. We don't need to talk about that now. Yes, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. Okay? All right, you guys want to talk a little te technical analysis now for a little bit? Well, let's do it, David. Yep. Why nobody answers my question. Saeed, post your question again. I'll answer it right now. Hey, Matt, let's do this before we go forward. Give me, give me some of the questions that you got up there. All right? Um, sure. Guys, cool. stop posting questions for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Antonio. Uh, Saeed wanted to know if we'll need to subscribe to any specific broker or anything to use your indicators. Okay. What you're looking at right now, guys, is think or swim on my charts, okay? Everyone in my room uses think or swim if you can get it. It does not cost anything to get, and you can get live trading on think or swim, okay? You come in next week if you need help, 
We will get you. Look, guys, in the course, thank you, Marcian. In the course, it shows you how to set up these charts. Okay. Anyone who comes in next week that does not and has a problem with it, I have someone in my room who will personally walk you through setting up your charts. He will do a little Zoom for as many people that needs it, and he will help you get your uh, chart set up. I think you can, Shaq, and I think it comes pretty close. I think some people in our room do use um, Trading View. Yes. Let me just explain something to everybody here, okay? Interactive Brokers, is that's what I use for my live trading, Sahib. Those charts aren't as good, but you can view it. This works with futures, Garnell. It works for anything that you can put a chart to. Anything. Okay. Um, Hassan, I'm not going to get into individual trades tonight. What's up, Robert? Um, in the Caribbean, you cannot download Think or Swim. Does it work in Canada? We'll find out all those questions. Also, guys, okay. trade. Look, if you are from another country, we are developing a relationship with Trade Zero. If they can help you set up your accounts, you can do it with 2,500, get four to one margin. If you are a foreigner and want to trade our market, reach out to us, reach out to Roman or go to Trade Zero and tell them we connected you. Speak to Dan Pipitone and tell them we sent you and they will take care of you. Yeah. Okay. Give me um, a one. No, this is not options. AK. We're talking about trading stocks. Okay. Thursday chat. Usually we go for an hour, hour and a half, Elaine. So do you buy trades from the chart? Or have, I have a separate brokerage account. What's David Green's Green's trading room? Uh, Roman, can you post greenroom-live.com if you don't mind? Guys, I want to talk for a few minutes about technical analysis. All right. And then we'll go, we'll answer. I'll, I'll hang out a little bit. And I'll answer any of your questions you guys have about anything. All right. Um, are your price levels based strictly off intraday? Yes. Intraday, Jay. Although, there's another thing we just added to our charts. Um, thanks to Ken. We have now added into our charts the low of yesterday, the close, and the high of yesterday. And we found that um, we've gotten some good trades off that also. All right. I'm going to share with you guys all of the technical analysis that we have in our charts, all of these lines that you are seeing. And then I'll go over a couple of trades and show you what we did to get into those trades. Okay. And then I'll hang out and answer some questions. All right. I'm going to type in what we use guys, nine, 15, 30, 65, 200 exponential moving averages, pivot points. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Thank you, Peter. Pivot points, relative strength index. And we'll show you how to get in the um, higher day, lower day, and close. This is everything that we use, guys and girls. And then I'll show you a couple of trades that set up and how we use it. That is everything that we use. Everybody see it? Everybody got it? Exponential yep. moving averages, pivot points, relative strength, higher day, lower day, and close. Okay. One thing I want to strongly suggest, guys, if anyone purchases the course tonight, or you did in the past few days, okay, try to do as much as the course as you can before by the Monday. Weekend. Okay. Try Thank to you, do as much see. as the course, go through as much as it as you can by Monday. It'll just give you a little head start as to what we're doing in there. Although I'm going to be very patient and very thorough and going through the whole course again next week, but get yourself acclimated to it. it. It cannot hurt. Start doing it right away. It can't hurt. Okay. I strongly suggest that. So Jesus just posted something guys and girls. Thank you, Evelyn. And everything that we do. Okay. Ashley, it's a little difficult to do it full time, to be quite honest with you, it can't be if you're working from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can do a little swing trading, which is something that we cover in a course, but I'm being honest with you. If you can't be in your computer from at least, I'm going to say 9.30 to 11 o'clock, um, it's not something that you can really do. You can do swing trading. You can do options trading. Uh, Ninja trade, if you can get the same technical analysis in, it works. Okay. How to pick stocks from running trade. We're going to talk about that for a couple of minutes now, guys. What are the working hours if we email your customer support team? 
Uh, my man Roman is available 24 hours, seven days a week. He's fighting a little bad about of COVID right now. But um, Roman, two things. Post the Green Room website, please, and post the, your website to get in touch with you guys to get the link for uh, the trading room on Monday. That's my website. And Roman, post right now for everybody who's bought the course. So that guys, you're going to email Roman and he will send you a link on Sunday to get into the room next week. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Narav. Appreciate it. All right. Let's talk a little bit about technical analysis, guys. So what we do, guys, okay, is we use all the tools that I just showed you to make our trades. High of day and low of day and close from yesterday one. Okay. So basically what we're looking for, guys and girls, is when a stock hits one of our lines on our chart, I'll make it as simple as possible, that's where we make a trade. When a stock is going down, okay, when a stock is going down, we look for a level to buy it, and that is called support. So when a stock comes to support, oh, guys, you can't see me. I'm sorry. When a nope. stock comes to a support level, we want to buy it if it fits our trading rules, okay? And when a stock goes to a resistance level, let me show you Tesla, we want to sell it or short it. Now, I want to talk about short for a minute. Roman's email looks suspicious with two, two dot coms. Roman, did you post two dot coms? Wallstreetglobal.com at gmail.com. Is that right? It's right, guys. <laughs> That's it. All right. When a stock is going up, we look for a place to short it. So for those of you who aren't familiar or are scared about shorting, let's talk about that for a couple of minutes. Because if you're not shorting stocks, guys and girls, you are missing half of the trades that set up. And when we short a stock, at the price that we short it, we need it to go down from there. So Chad, when we buy a stock, I want it to go up to make money. When we short a stock, we want it to go down to make money. And I'll, we'll explain, we explained it much more in the um, course, and I'll explain it next week for those of you who buy the course. But you have to learn to both be long and be short. Otherwise, you're missing half of your trading opportunities. Okay? So here, if we look at Tesla, guys, it pulled back right here to yesterday's low at $305, $305. And look what happened when it hit yesterday's low. It stopped going down and it started going up. So it came down and hit a support level based on one of our technical analysis that we use, and that's where we wanna buy when it goes down, okay? Now, 10 minutes later, it went up and hit our resistance level. That was yesterday's high. Isn't that amazing? It hit yesterday's low, and then it hit yesterday's high and gave a $3 trade off the low and a $3 trade off the high. So when stocks go down to a support level, we want to buy. When they get up to a resistance level, we want to sell, okay? I can't go into great detail about this because we could be here all night. Let me show you a couple more. For those of you who are not going to be with us anymore, I strongly suggest that you put all these moving averages into your charts and then practice looking for them when they hit one of our support levels or one of our resistance levels. This is right after the Fed, guys. Check this out. I want to show you a couple of things in the video, okay? And then I'm going to get to some questions, guys and girls. Matt's keeping track of all the questions. We'll get to them. The Fed came out, guys and girls. The video, check this out. Went from 136 to 131.50. Look at this, guys. This is yesterday's close in the stock. But look what, I'm not going in, guys, and putting these lines in to fake you guys out to get you to buy the course, okay? These were lines on our charts, right? So it exactly hit yesterday's close at 131.70, and we got a nice dollar fifty-two dollar trade out. Now I want to show you guys something else because there are times when we have to change our time frames if we don't have support or resistance on a five-minute chart. So guys and girls, we're always starting on a five-minute chart to find support or resistance. But I want to talk to people who are swing trading a little bit. Antonio, again, I'm just giving you what we use, okay? And what we use works for us. I'm going to show you a bunch of examples in the next couple of minutes. Yeah, and I don't tell anybody 
what they should use. I'm just telling you guys what works for us. Okay, that's it. Yes, Chris, I'm going to go do that right now. Check it out. Check out a daily chart. Okay, in the video. Check this out, guys. Here's a daily chart in the video. We had a level of $140.20. This is our 15 EMA. Check it out. We had a level of 140.20. Thank you, James. And this was on a daily chart. Usually when a stock hits a daily chart, it's going to be good resistance and we want to short it. So this is our daily chart. Let's go back to the five-minute chart. I want to show you where this stock traded today. $140.31. It went 10 cents above that level and then went down $6 because it hit a daily level, okay? People shouldn't come on other Zoom and tell them what to use. Um, no, he wasn't being disrespectful, Kev. He was just saying, is that okay to use? It's cool. Look, guys, we have 500 people in here and not one of, we did not, not have one troll, okay? That's saying something, all right? <laughs> Usually when we do a, a webinar with 150 or 200 people, there's always a couple that come in and say, you guys are full of shit. You don't know what you're talking about. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> The course is going to prove to you that we know what we're talking about. The technical analysis is going to prove to you that we know what you're talking about. Beyond us knowing what we're talking about, guys, okay? Beyond us knowing what we're talking about, we're going to take care of you guys, all right? And you're going to become part of the family. Yes, Ron, puts are shorting in a way when you're doing an option. Puts are shorting when you're doing an option. All right, let me show you a little Tesla here. Just want to show you what happened in this. And this was all, guys, after the Fed announcement. All these trades set up after the Fed announcement. Here was Tesla, got to yesterday's low. Boom, chakalaka, got to yesterday's high. Spectacular. Thank you, Othame. Um, guys, you won't see us until Monday, those who bought the course. Okay? Monday, Monday, Monday. I don't want you to come in on a Thursday, no. Friday, because Fridays we leave at 11 o'clock every day. They're going to come in tomorrow. Could be really tomorrow. Right? Yeah, so you'll maybe. send Roman an email, and he will send you a link on Sunday. Okay, he will send you a link on Monday. I want to show you how we pick the exact low, guys. 315 candle. Oh, that was right here, 315. Yeah, it exactly almost got down to a pivot point and went two up. Let me show you further back, guys. Oh, this one, Robert, when it hit the 200. There it is. Boom, chaka, laka, laka. Um, is there a chat room that's open around 9 a.m. until at least noon or later? Yes, Dennis. My live trading room is open from 8.30. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, bought the course, cheaper than blowing my account again. Lawrence, if you follow us, I guarantee you will never blow up another trading account if you listen to the rules. Guys, that's the most important thing, okay? Yes, Brittany. Yes, the, what, the, um, the course is a one-time charge. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, don't worry about getting into my room yet. Let's come in and we'll hang out. Don't worry about that yet, okay? It might not be for you, all right? Let's just buy the course, come in next week, and then we'll talk about everything else. I want to show you guys a little longer-term chart, and then we're going to get to all your questions. I'll hang out, guys. I'll, let, I'll answer a bunch of – I'll let Peter talk for, like, you know, his usual 35 minutes, and then I'll come back, and we'll, uh, I'll take a bunch of questions from everybody. We can talk about individual stocks, and I'll hang out for a little bit with you guys, okay? I just want to show you a little longer term in the spiders. Matt, nobody else has to hang out, Matt. I'll get it. Don't worry about it. Um, the course, Charles? I don't know. How long is the course, guys? 40 hours? <laughs> well, no, the, the, course uh, is, the course is nine hours, 21 videos. And then there's 100 hours. There's 100 hours of, uh, of archives on top of that. Yeah. Let me show you guys where we're at in the spiders right now, guys. To give you guys a little longer term view of what we're looking at. All right. So we did a swing trade, guys, which we're going to teach you how to do also. When the spiders first went, guys, from 460, right here. Look at our 200 EMA. How cool is that? I texted Peter this day. I was on my Tic Tac. And anyone else who would li listen to me, that we are buying the SPY at $363. Okay? It went this day to 362.17. Check that out. And we went up 70 points from there. And we recommended getting out of it $430 from here. This was our trade, okay? That was a weekly support level on the spiders. 
and we're able to really take advantage of that. So here's where we are right now. Our weekly has now moved up to 367.70. That'll be a little level I look for tomorrow. Okay. For a trade, if we're down a thousand points again, I'm going to look at that level. If we go monthly, guys and girls, and again, I'm not Nostradamus. Everything I do is based on my charts. I don't have an opinion. Peter will tell you that a million times. I have no opinion about what stocks are going to do. Okay. I bought the course, but I'm not a day trader. Do a small account. Is the course appropriate? David, if it's not, you let us know, but we can teach you how to do options in a small account. Okay. Correct. All right. But if it doesn't work for you, we'll give you your money back. Do you teach how to draw support and resistance lines? Or we will, you will use mine, Sahid. You will use all the lines that you're looking at. Okay. This is all you need we will to teach do to you trade. how to set up. We will teach you how to set up your charts. And that's what we do. Let me talk about that for a couple of minutes, Chad. Hold on one sec. Okay. So 342 is our next real level on the spiders, guys. That's where I will start again. And I don't tell anybody what to do. I will start. I am out of the market completely. I have been. I will start a long-term investment again if the spiders get down to 342. And again, we do not give trading advice, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Where's, Let's talk for where, a minute the about the three trade? different types of trading accounts you can have. And then I'm going to turn it over to you, Pete. And then I'll come back and answer a few questions. All right. Number one type of trading you can have, guys, is a retail trading account, $25,000 or more. This gives you a margin of four to one in buying power. You'll be able to trade at least $100,000 worth of stocks at any point during the day. Most active day traders have that kind of account. It allows us to trade any stock that we look at. Tesla, it doesn't matter the price of the stock. We can do 100, 200, three shares of Tesla. So if you have 25 grand in a retail trading account, you can trade up to 100,000 bucks worth of stock at any point during the day. Next account is what we call a proprietary trading account. This comes with the caveat that you have to take and pass a couple of exams. I think you can open that with as little as $5,000. They also give you 20 times buying power or margin, and you have up to $100,000 to trade with at any point during the day. Anyone who goes forward with us will give you information about all that stuff. Your last type of account is a cash account. You have a thousand bucks in a cash account. You can trade up to a thousand bucks, right? I would say for an account less than $5,000, if you're in a cash account, you're going to have to concentrate on options, okay? Because you're not going to be able to trade any amount of the stock, size of the stocks that we trade with less than at least $5,000, right? I'm investing in learn long-term stocks. Jesura, Hua, um, 100%, guys. And I talk about long-term trading also. I have helped a ton of people with their long-term trading accounts. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but I'll look at a chart and I'll tell you what you think. But yeah, most of the people that trade with us and have bought the course, all of us have, well, most of us have long-term trading accounts, a 401k, an IRA, a Roth, everybody has that. So yeah, one has nothing to do with the other. And I strongly suggest that you separate them. Okay. I strongly suggest separate your day trading account from your long-term stuff. Yes. Can you guys help me with a proprietary trading account? Yes, David, we can. I will get you that information if you decide to be with us. Um, this Zoom does not cover options trading. However, we cover it in the course. And Royce, next week, we will have at least a three-hour um, session about options in the trading room. I have we don't use trading, volume, guys. I have a couple of options trading experts in my room. Experts, okay? Uh, thank you, Harusa. I, I just want to hear from one person in the room. Um, Robert, are you here? Robert. Yeah, go. Give it. Don't give me your whole life story, Robert. Give us a small synopsis. Open up your microphone and just talk about your experience for a couple of minutes. Hi, guys. Uh, hi, Dave. Hi, Pete. So just real quick, we've been here for a long time. I, I met Dave and Peter on Instagram almost two months ago now. It's going close to two months. I was trading big dollars, losing lots of money. I was ready to give up. I found Peter's Instagram. I joined the class. I've been trading in Dave's room. And I've been, it's, it's been a life-changing event for me, guys. These guys, it's like a family. I consider them a family now because we work together. 
There's people in the room. We help each other. A guy came in once. He said, I have 25,000 shares of Lordstown Motors. Can you help me? We looked into options for the guy. I mean, we there's so much stuff going on in there. And we, if you follow these guys' rules, which I've devoted myself to follow very strictly because I used to just break rules all the time. Eh, it looks good. I'll buy it. But if you follow these rules to the letter of the law, you are going to be successful. We, once, in, once in a while, we have a small loss. But I've made money consistently since I've been there. There's been one trade that I messed up on because I didn't listen to Dave. And that's, and that's the only one. Dave told me to sell it, and I didn't listen to him. And that's the only trade that went bad for me. But other than that, it's been a home run for me. I'm up. I've made all the money back from the courses and then some tenfold, actually. I'm not going to give you exact amounts, but it's been 10 times what I spent. So, guys, I can tell you this. These guys are a real deal. I just met them. I was losing a lot of money. And uh, it's been a life-changing thing for me, guys. So if, if, you were, if you were committed to learning this and really follow their rules, I think you're going to be so successful and you're going to be so happy. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, we have a lot of people. Uh, Pete has people tell him that stuff like that all the time. Um, Mike, it's been life-changing for we really are a family here, guys and girls. Uh, people are asking for my Twitter and all that stuff. Guys, I'm not really involved in all that stuff. Here's the bottom line. I'll tell everybody this, okay? Um, I am not here for fortune of fame. I don't care if nobody ever heard of me. I only give a shit about the people who buy the course and are in my room, okay? That's it. I, I don't care about anyone else. I don't care about TikTok or Instagram or, or whatever it is. I'm not, I'm not one of these guys who is going to – I just don't care. I love what I do. I love the people we're involved with. I don't care about anyone else who is in my room. We have – Yes, I sing all day. Some people, you have to pay a little extra for that sometimes. Um, <laughs> I have, I, we hear stories like Robert's all the time and, and it, it really gets to me. It really does. It, it makes me want to cry sometimes. Um, yeah, my thank you. Guys, you, you're going to be fine, okay? It's going to take some time. Look, let me just tell you this, guys. I tell everybody it's a three to six month learning curve. And that is to change, even to change some of the bad habits that you have, Right. It just takes time. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not one of the places where I'm going to post to get in the trade after I've got in it and I have 8,000 other people go buy the stock so I can make some money in it. I'm not going to mention any names of people who have done that. Ross Cameron, Jason Bond. I will not mention any names because there are people out there who really take advantage of people and have taken advantage of people and have got fined millions of dollars for taking advantage of people. Okay? So... Don't if you stay with us, that's wonderful. If you don't stay with us, find somebody that you can best. trust that's not going to be pulling your leg, that's not going to BS with you. Um, I'm not saying he's not, Ryan. I am not saying he's not. I'm just telling you the facts of what has happened. Okay. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Go do some research. You'll find. You'll you'll find about these guys. I right, look, I'm not telling anybody where to go. I'm telling you that I wrote I uh read some FTC reports on a bunch of guys and it didn't, uh, it didn't sound so good. So again, <laughs> you guys do what you got to do. Uh, thank you. But I wonder if we're going to use, if we're going to use everything ready, how will we learn? Saeed, you're going to learn by coming into the um, mentorship lessons. Okay. You're going to, you're going to learn by coming every Thursday night with us starting tomorrow night for everybody who signed up. You're going to learn from being in a room with me for a week next week. That's how you're going to learn. There are only qu stupid questions, guys, are the questions that you don't ask, okay? If you do this and you find that it's overwhelming for you and it's not something for you, we'll give you your money back. You know what I'm saying? Guys, this sounds good, but it definitely makes me nervous willing to do the work. Mike, let me ask you a question. What makes you nervous about it? Have you, have you not ever traded before? Is that what makes you nervous? Are you worried about investing 300 bucks? What are you worried about? Talk to me, Goose. <laughs> anyway, while he's doing, I, uh, we're not getting an answer. Guys and girls, listen, all this stuff we've covered tonight is just one thing. If I want to learn to become a pilot, 
I don't go on a web. I, I start by going on a webinar, listening to a pilot talk about it for a year, for, for a couple of hours. Then I go get, get some books. Then I go to the airport. I log in 180 hours. Then I get in with a co-pilot. I fly a couple hundred hours with that person before I ever consider flying from New York to New Jersey. Same thing about trading. We brought on, brought you on for this live free webinar because we know that people are getting blown up up there. We are contacted by people trading the market who are losing. People who are losing money don't really like to talk about it, right? They'll sit in their room and they'll lose shit loads of money like Robert described and not ask for help. That's why we're out here asking you to, to trust us. And so we're, look, for $299, it's, it's not, it's not going to break you or make you. It's not going to make or break us either. We love what we do. We are traders. We love when people tell us stories about the fact is that they never had a plan. Now they have a plan. They used to turn running trades into losing trades. They never used stops. Now they use stops. Mental stops used to blow up their accounts. They used to average into bad trades. I mean, all the things that unsuccessful traders do are all the same. And I know you're all those people. No judgment. I've made the same mistakes too. And I still make those same mistakes. You got an hour Me and too. a half of listening, to, to, right? You got an hour and a half of listening to sort of an overview of what we do. We have lessons. We have rules, right? But we give you choices, right? There's a lot of things going on. We have a course which teaches you the details of what we talked about tonight. You, I, we can't teach the whole course overnight. Dave, David spends a week teaching the whole course, eight hours a day live for five days. That's what you get for free. Five hours a day. Take it easy, Pete. Okay, five sorry, hours sorry, a day. Sorry. Take sorry. it easy. He takes a lunch break. He takes a lunch <laughs> break. So, guys, you're not going to learn. You're not. Gonna, you're going to walk away from this hour and a half. Surely better traders than when you came in. Half of you never use stop orders. Half of you use mental stop orders. Half of you were averaging into bad trades. Half of you were getting into trades on FOMO, volume, hype, and hope not sustainable strategies. Half of you are making $100 on four trades and losing $8,000 on the fifth trade. That's the bottom line. We are giving you the solution to that problem. We are giving you the solution to navigate this market successfully. For people who know what we know, the volatility is an absolute gift in this market because there's opportunity. People get scared by volatility. People jump in and lose money every single day. People have opinions about stocks. They get in because Uncle Herbie told them to do it. They spend 15 grand on online trading. They spend $29 a month getting stock signals. We are giving you a toolbox. We are filling it with tools. We are not just giving you a fish because you're hungry. We're teaching you how to friggin' fish. That's the bottom line. The rules are simple, but still, every no one follows them. Successful traders do what we do. Unsuccessful traders do everything else than it. There are 99 reasons to do this, one reason not to. Look, you want to keep losing money? We wish you the best, because then hate, have a nice day, right? But it's a matter of surrendering to the platform, the program, and the project. It's all good. David is the real deal. You can look at me. I'm, I'm different than Dave. I'm all over freaking social media. Under 25,000 people follow me. God only knows why. You can see me. You know me. I have integrity. I'm trading live on the floor every day for the last 37 years. My son is my partner. I'm visible. I'm out there. I do 50 interviews a month on TV all over the friggin' world, and I give speeches. So you're not going to – I'm never disappearing, and I am a very visible, vocal guy, and I have legitimacy based on that. Dave is somebody I've known for 37 years. We started on Wall Street together. He sort of loves to hang out in the background because he's the teacher. He's the mentor. He's the coach. He's doing some serious live mass trading on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm your motivator and inspirator in chief. I don't know if that's an, even an English word, right? But that's, that's the team you've got in front of you guys. We've created a family. Right. And that's what we want. We want you've all been invited to this party after 20 years, 50 years, 100 years of having barriers to entry to get into this market. You've all been invited to the goddamn party. We want you to be successful. We want you to leave happy, making some disposable income, making some money. If you've never traded before, we can teach you how to start learning how to do it. If you've been trading retail and you're frustrated, and you're not getting it and you started losing money, we can help you with that. If you're an advanced trader and you're just not you can't just adapt to the new crazy market. We can help you with that. We know that we have the key to every friggin' lock out there because we've been doing it and we've seen it all. We've seen every movie in the Naked City, guys. Okay, so that's why we're here doing this. We want you to become successful traders. We don't need to die with the most toys. We want to spend our lives 
empowering and teaching people to be successful. That's how David and I get, get our juices flowing. That's what we do. We found something we love to do. We want to share it, right? There's a, there are different programs that say you can't get it unless you give it away. We're giving it friggin' away. $299 for a course. It's nine hours, 21 videos. It teaches everything you need to know about trading. And it comes with mentorship and coaching every Thursday night live with me and David, right? Not a robot, not a bit, not, not a slide, me and David live, okay? If you want to stay in a trading room, if you know TA already and you need a community to trade with, greenroom-live.com. David will give you a chance at it down the road a little bit. It's all good. If you buy the course tonight, you're getting $1,300 worth of value, a boot camp that David does every month and sells out every friggin' month. He's giving it to you for free next week. Study in advance if you buy the course in the next five days. Yeah, guys, I don't know much more, much more we can do. It's a beautiful thing. Welcome. Join us. We love you. And if you don't like it, we'll give you your money back. Just so you know, guys and girls, yeah, I have no outsiders coming in next week. I had some people who wanted to come and do it with me. And I said, no, because I'm going to reserve it for all you guys for, uh, for next week. So I'm not having anybody new who put wall street, global trading Academy dot com in my chart. <laughs> what the, what are you guys kidding me? Uh, trading room site is green room dash live.com. Post that one more time, bro. Roman green room dash live.com. All right, Matt, let's do it, guys. Let's do a few questions. We don't want to be here all night. It's already 842. Let's have a nine o'clock uh, cutoff, guys. It's been a long night. It's been a, a long day. I got five I got five minutes left, baby. You take it from there. All right, you want to talk for your five minutes and then I'll go to the boys' room. Now, can... now, 26 of our students joined the webinar. They all loved it. Florida State University, beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, David and I are committed to teach students in colleges how to learn how to trade, become successful. David and I are committed to teach people who have not been had access to the stock market or able to learn how to navigate this market successfully. We are committed to help you. People who have gotten scammed by bad people in the game, we are committed to help you. People who would love to make a little bit of disposable income and learn how to navigate this market successful, we are committed to help you. Retail traders who got in at COVID, who made a little money, who've blown up their trading accounts, but want to do this because it's the most fun thing in the freaking world. We are committed to you. If you've been in the business for years and you just can't adapt to the new crazy freaking volatile market, we are help there. We are there for you. We know the rules. We've got the key to the castle. We understand the psychology. We've made all the mistakes. We are actively doing this shit every day. I'm in the market every day at nine o'clock. I traded every day for a hedge fund until four. I'm live boots on the ground at the NYSE every day. If you want to come and say hi, DM me. I'll meet you outside. We can, we can shake hands and chat. David, live trading the market uh, for decades, for decades. So tens of thousands of people to become independent. We have guys who came into David's room who lost their jobs during COVID. Who were going to go to friggin' Home Depot because he had to support his family. He joined the trading room and he was able to make a living during COVID day trading with Dave. That's the kind of people we are. That's the kind of people in our family. That's who we are, guys. That's what we're here for, right? We're not online trading. We're not all these other jackasses. Sorry, no, no, no disrespect. Who charge you $29 a month. Who do the old pump and dump fagazi on you. We are here. We're visible. We have integrity. Our motives are pure. We want to help other people be successful at something we love to do. Okay. That's Thanks, why Pete. we're here. Join us yeah. if you'd like. If you're not, I got to get out of here and go see my wife or she go will Pete. kill me and I'll be out on the street. David, I love you. Uh, Roman, I love you. Uh, Maddie, I love you. Everyone, please join us. Uh, if you need me, you want to reach out to me, DM me on Instagram, Einstein of Wall Street. I'm available to answer questions. If this seemed like a crazy ass rant by all of us, DM me. I'll, con I'll, I'll connect you to the solution. Love you all, guys. David, staying on. Stay with him. He's here to help you. Later, David. I love you. All right. Love you too, Pete. All right, guys. We're going to go for a. Uh, uh, we'll go for another five or 10 minutes because I am exhausted myself. I saw one of the college uh, people posted, guys. And I think it is so important for every college kid to know a little bit about finance and know a little bit about the, uh, the stock market. I think this will be one of the best, best investments you'll ever make for 300 banana skins that I can guarantee. 
Um, I used Interactive Brokers, Brittany, for all of my trading. I can do options and stocks in there. Uh, guys, for those of you who are asking, does this work with options? Does it work with anything that you can put a chart to, guys? This works. Um, Jay, do you combine technical analysis with any other type of analysis? Not for trading, Jay. Now, if we're talking about longer term, that's a different story, but not for trading, okay? Not for trading. Um, could you run down an options trade? Then I can't get to that tonight. That's just too much to get into. Are you buying long term on the spiders? Next time it touches the 200 EMA on a weekly, I am not. I'm going to wait and see if it goes a little bit lower than that. So let's clear one thing up, guys, for everybody, right? You know that everything comes a disclaimer as far as trading is concerned, okay? I do trade live in my room, but it is suggested. So let's get that disclaimer out there right now. Everything we do is for educational purposes, okay? I don't want anyone... Uh, suing me because I told them to buy two shares of XYZ at $4 and it went to $2, okay? Uh, Michael, I trade with my team every single day in my live trading room, okay? Uh, Malik, if you have bought the course, will you buy it before Sunday? You will get a link to the boot camp on Sunday night and you will be in the room at 8.30 a.m. on Sunday night. Okay, is the green room and boot camp permanently available for purchase when, yes, Elaine. If you buy the course and you can't do the boot camp next week, you will get credit to be in my one of my next boot camps. We do the boot camp once a month. Okay. The green room is a mo monthly membership. Yes. I mean, I'll talk about it for a minute. I don't want to talk about it. Come into the room first. Okay. Come into the room and hang out, and then we'll talk about the room. All right. Um, all right, Matt, let's do a few questions. Um, okay. One that came up a couple of times were people asking with smaller accounts or who might not necessarily be able to day trade nine to five um, Eastern time every day. Is this course still worth purchasing for someone who is just looking to swing trade or is looking to start with a very small account? All right. Let's be very, very honest with you guys. The answer is no. I'm just being honest with you guys. I am not looking to take money from people who can't take advantage, won't be able to take advantage of what we're teaching them. Um, I would say this, if it's something that you're going to be able to do at some point, then I think the course is worth it. But I'm just being honest, guys. It's very difficult to build up any kind of account when you're starting with a little bit of money. Um, we'll certainly teach you how to do options, okay? We'll teach you how to trade a small account using options. But I'm being honest with everybody. You know, you know the old saying, it takes money to make money? Well, unfortunately, it's two with trading too. But, you know, if you have a couple of grand, you can certainly day trade options. You know, a lot of the options uh, that we look at, you know, they traded. To, look, we bought an option, guys. What was it? Two weeks ago in Donkey Kong, uh, DraftKings. Um, we bought an option for six cents in DKNG uh, last week, and we sold it for 40 cents. That's 700 percent profit. So think about it this way. Right. Oh, I love that heart. Thank you. Um, think about it this way. If you bought. If you bought 10 of those options for 60 cents, you could have turned that 60 cents into $400. That's a huge profit, right? Isn't that cool? That's a huge profit. Um, Jay, actually, it depends on how many you bought, right? Look, some people in the room bought two and invested $12. And I had a guy in my room buy 50 of them. He invested $300, turned into $2,000. So, you know. How do you manage a trade? Same way as any other trade. We bought it for six cents. I sold a tiny bit at 15 cents. I sold a tiny bit at 25 cents. And I sold the balance of it all the way up at 40 cents. So same exact way that we do any other trade. So I'm not saying it's impossible. We'll teach you how to do options. And you can, you can track an option on a chart just like you would any stock. Okay? Yeah, I'll look. And again, guys, we're going to have a big, big options um lesson next week with brian i think brian's here i don't know if brian's here uh okay david i think it's a series 56 and a series 47 i'm not really sure exactly what the uh what the tests are called but um let me ask roman roman do you have the proprietary trader guys uh email let roman dig that out guys i will give you um is that a derek's you know? Yeah, Derek Olden Smith. Guys, I'm going to post an email if anyone's interested in a proprietary trading account. Send them an email, tell them you're from the green room, and at least you'll get all the information on that. I'm not sure what the requirements are right now, but you can get all the information. Thank you, Matt. 
Alex, everything is online. Okay? It doesn't matter where you live in the world. Is someone going to draw a set of boobies now? Come on, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm working proof of this working. You can contact me anytime you want. There you go. What is considered a small account? I would say anything less than five grand, France, is a small account. Anything less than five grand. All right. Uh, Giovanni, not something I could quickly explain. <laughs> I make my trades on interactive brokers. Yes, 100%. Why do you trade stocks over trading options, being that option trading is much cheaper? Just what we do, Hassan. That's all. It's just what we do. Different strokes for different folks. Okay. All right, Elizabeth. We'll talk about probably a prop account is good for you. But again, you can start with trading fractional shares with 10 grand, 100%. You can start with that. Yes, Jay. Absolutely. If you can swing your swing. If you can, uh, guys, I'm getting a little loopy. If you can separate your swing account and your day trading account, you absolutely should. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, the room is online, everybody. You're going to get a link. You're going to hit that link, and you'll see my ugly mug on Monday morning. Yes. All right, guys and girls, I'm going to apologize if we didn't get to any single, every single question that we did. We will be doing another one of these. We do them once a month, okay? Everyone who purchased the course, yes. You know, go start looking at it, okay? With so many companies in the stock market, this is going to be the last question because I like it. How do you know what stocks to choose? Thank you, Moses. Ken, who is in our room and has been helping answering questions tonight. Okay. In the course, he teaches you how to set up scanners so that it actually picks the stocks for you that fit our criteria. Guys, we have tried to make this as easy as possible. We have, we have a, a, a lesson in the, in the course that teaches you how to build scanners with code, teaches you exactly how to do it. And once you have that scanner set up, it finds the trade for you. Yes, Roman, when will this uh, recording be available up on the Wall Street Global um, website? It's probably in another day or so. We'll get it up there. Tomorrow, there you go. Boom, chakalaka, laka, guys. Boom, chakalaka, laka. So you'll have this up there tomorrow if you needed it, okay? Um, if you can, guys and girls, yes. Go through the part of the course where it tells you how to set up your charts, okay? If you can get that done before Monday, that would be a huge help, all right? That would be a huge help. This way we can start from there. If you have trouble with it, okay, I'll have somebody do a Zoom for everybody that... Um, that needs help next week. No, it is not hard to build the scanner. No, no, no. And as Ken just said, guys, do as much of the video as you can before Monday. Okay? This way you'll have a little sense, a little uh, sense as to what's going on there. All right? If we can make this boot camp, we get, yes, Gabrielle, if you can't make this one, Roman will keep track and you'll make it, um, you'll make it for the next one. We are not going to post links here for anything, guys and girls. No, no, no. That is proprietary, and it is for our family. Okay? So we are not going to be doing it. Thank you, Shani. I'm glad you guys had a good time. Hassan, yes, that is good to start with. If you can do 25, it's even better. All right, guys and girls, as I end all of my webinars, let's hope today is the worst day we ever have, and tomorrow is a better day. I say peace and love, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. Guys, watch spiders early in the morning. Maybe we get it tested at 367 level. That's something that I would look at early in the morning. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Let's hope today's the worst day we ever have and tomorrow's a brother day. Peace and love, brother. Thank everybody for being here, really. This was a great turnout. We thank you guys. Whether you stay with us or not, it's been a pleasure to be able to, to present to you guys tonight. Um, we had a lot of fun. We do have a lot of fun, guys, but we're serious about making money. Yes. We are out of here like Vladimir, Oberski, and Outski. Thank you, guys.